to be more careful when the wind rises, George. You nearly lost your kite. Had you two nearly lost your Georgie, he might have got away completely had I not been holding on to the other end of that string. You know, when they offered me the part, I played the son of uh, the old banker, you know, Mr. And uh, I thought, well, this is handy. I've grown into the part. I won't need any makeup. And they put mustaches and wigs and mutton chops and everything. And I said, do you guys realize you're making up a 90-year-old to look like a 90-year-old? <laughs> he actually, for me, looked too good. Mr. Dawes in the first one was kind of scruffy. This guy was pretty well turned out. Come! Come look! Wait, where did you get that kite? I found it in the park. She kept it from blowing away. Mary. Oh, Vince. Close your mouth, please, Michael. We are still not a codfish. <laughs> Jane Banks. Still rather inclined to giggle, I see. They rebuilt the, the street, Cherry Tree Lane, exactly as it was in the original movie, with the park and everything. They let me go see it, my God, it was like a trip to the past. Every detail was just the same. Come on up! City Jack! Sing for us, Mary Poppins! No, 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 no. Come on, have a go. No, I haven't sung in years. Sing for us, Mary Poppins. Do sing for us, Mary Poppins. No, I couldn't possibly. D-flat major. We need the arts, we need culture, and we need something uplifting with a little imagination to it. That's why Walt, who was, you know, there never was anybody like him before, and there won't be again. He stood alone. Nobody like Walt around. And it's because he never lost that childlike imagination and sense of wonder. He always had it. Off we go.